Hi guys, it's Talitha and welcome to my nail journey, part one. So what I'm trying to do is film a series of nail growth vlogs and hopefully by the end of it my nails will be looking much nicer and much longer. Something I want to just point out is that my nails look better than they previously have been. This is because I've tried multiple times to not bite my nails, but I have done and I've failed at it. So when I've failed at it, I haven't bitten them down as much, but I've still bitten them down, which is unfortunate. And that's why I'm starting these vlogs to try and hopefully get my nails nice and long. I think I first started biting my nails when I started school and then I've just carried on from there. Um, I just have decided that I want to stop biting my nails because I'd like to get them manicured, I'd like them to be long, I'd like them to look pretty and not to be embarrassed of them. So I find that I usually bite my nails when I'm bored or I have nothing to do or if something like a test or exam is coming up or even when I'm in one of them. If I'm not biting my nails, I'm picking at them, especially around the sides, so then the skin gets all red and bits of my skin peels off. I don't know if you can see that there. When I'm not picking around the skin around the side, I'm pushing back my cuticles and this causes my fingers to hurt. Sometimes when I bite my nails, there's a, sometimes I get hangnails and I try and bite these off. And it ha they haven't bled for a long time, but sometimes they used to bleed. And I used to find that my finger would hurt for about two days because of me pulling it off. So when I've tried to previously grow my nails, I've used many home remedies like lemon and toothpaste or vitamin E, um, things which I mix into Vaseline. I wouldn't really say that they work. Um, I probably didn't notice them strengthening my nail, they maybe did a little bit, but they didn't help. One thing I would say about the toothpaste is though, you know the white bit on your nail, it makes that bit whiter and I think that is because of the whitening agent in the toothpaste, so that's quite nice. But it just feels a bit not nice walking around with oily hands. I remember when I was little, I once um, had chili put on my thumb, so I used to suck it. But Yes, yeah, so that just wouldn't work for nails. So you want, you don't want to bring more attention to yourself than you already get from having your nails um, uh, down. So um, one of the things that I saw online was to use hand cream, and this was because it moisturises your hands and helps your nails um, get stronger and grow. So I've got some hand cream here, and I'm just going to put some of this on my hands. And I'm going to just massage that in. So when I've previously tried to grow my nails, I've used this dip and twist mixture that was sour and will make your nails taste horrible if you put them into your mouth. But the sourness didn't really bother me. I didn't mind that. The problem was, if you ate something like finger foods or sandwiches, the mixture, even though it would be dry on your hands, it would still go on to the food and when you put it into your mouth the sourness would mix with the taste of the food and it would just taste horrible. So what I've got here is this um, nail polish and it's this nail biting solution so it tastes sour which is fine, it won't bother me but it's like nail polish, clear nail polish um, so this should help my nails grow because it's got vitamin E in it to make them stronger. I have been reluctant to paint my nails in co with colours and even just clear nail polish. One, because I just can't wear it at school, I'm not allowed. And secondly, it just can damage your nail and the fact that I'm already trying to grow them and have ruined the skin around them just could make them grow slower and take a longer process. So I'm just going to paint this on and hopefully it will help me stop biting my nails because 
I don't really want to if I've got a bit of nail polish on my fingers. Also that it's clear one just makes it a bit better. So now I've just painted my nails with the solution. I just want to see how they look, even though obviously I haven't like my results quite yet. But I just want to see how they look, so... This is the um... So that's what they look like. And here's the thumb. And then this is my other hand. That's what they look like. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel for new updates coming soon and turn on notifications so you won't miss the next video. Bye!